If you want mid-journey to have a better idea of what on earth you're talking about and what you want, using images as a reference is a great way to get started. So here's all the ways that you can do that. I'm just gonna import my logo here and we're gonna try and create a fun twist on this design and see what exactly what it comes up with. So as you can see, the very first step is to actually upload that image into mid-journey by simply submitting it as a message. So now we can start crafting up prompt. So let's just go slash imagine as usual and then go with logo on medieval era poster. At that point, you can simply just right click on that image you just uploaded, then go copy link and then put it at the end of your message. This is the simplest way of doing it, but there's some other ways. First of all, let's see what the results will be. And there it is, the four things inspired by the design. Now, if you want it to be a bit more closer, let's go for the exact same prompt, but then go dash dash chaos zero at the end, so it stays a bit more true to the actual image you're submitting. Another way of doing it is to use this brand new function that's recently added, dash dash s ref. This is style reference, and basically tells the model in what style to make the images. And once again, we get the results. These ones, as you can see, are much different because it's specifically mimicking the style of my logo. There's also this, C-Ref, or character reference. And yes, as you can imagine, this is used to have a consistent character or otherwise main part of an image be carried forward. So in this case, a logo, but obviously it's gonna be used a lot more for actual people or other characters you wanna be carried across from one mid-journey image to another. Now, looking at these results, you may notice that a lot of them don't really look too much like my logo, but don't worry, there's one final command you should know that kind of fixes that. So let's go with this prompt again, but this time we're going to put at the end IW, standing for image weight. And this is the file on a scale from 0 to 2. No, I have no idea why it's so random either. Basically, using decimals, if you need it, you can tell mid-journey how much to value the prompt versus the image. So I'm just going to go for 2, so that it focuses mostly on the image. That's more like it, kind of. It is mid-journey after all, and you can tweak this a lot more. And combining these functions together, you can truly make some awesome stuff with reference images. So if this was helpful, make sure to subscribe to Healthcare Authority for more tutorials like this one.